Growing up, you were always taught to eat fresh vegetables and fruits. But why is that? Is fresh the best option? And how fresh is it really? In this video, we will be discussing the misconceptions surrounding frozen food. First off, let's understand what fresh really means. Let's take a look at that fresh honey crisp apple you bought from the grocery store this week. In order to keep an apple fresh, apples are picked before they are ripe. Sprayed with chemicals such as 1-methylcyclopropene, waxed and stored in a warehouse before being transported to a supermarket or sold to a food provider. This process can take up to 14 months when factoring in transportation time. When out of season, further additives are used such as fungicide to further extend the shelf life of the apple. This does not just apply to apples. Due to this lengthy process from farm to table, fresh produce can lose up to 50% of its nutritional value by the time you take your first bite. Some produce such as apples also suffer a significant drop in nutrition due to a lack of antioxidant activity after three months. The opposite is true for frozen foods. Due to the modern methods of flash freezing, farmers can harvest their produce at peak ripeness and instantly freeze them, locking in their nutrition. This is the closest thing to eating right out of the garden. Studies have shown that various frozen vegetables such as peas, broccoli, carrots, and green beans can have equal vitamin C content comparable to the point of harvest. Vitamin C is often used as a proxy indicator of freshness due to its vulnerability to chemical and enzymatic oxidation. Freezing food can save more than just the nutrition in our food, but can reduce costs and reduce our environmental footprint. Unfortunately, food can be lost before it even reaches a kitchen. 53% of all food waste happens on the value chain. 20% is lost in processing, 4% lost in transport and distribution. Once food has reached a kitchen, there is still a high probability of spoilage and waste due to the limited time fresh food can be stored safely. Food waste and spoilage can account for 10% of all food purchased by kitchens. Of course, we can't bring these numbers to 0%, but we can reduce them. Freezing is considered one of the best processes for preventing the growth of spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms. Frozen food gets a bad rap when it comes to taste. But studies have shown that people cannot tell the difference between meals created with frozen and fresh products. Many even prefer the taste of frozen products. Because of this, gourmet pop-up restaurants have seen major success serving meals only from frozen products. Next time you're cooking a fresh meal, rethink your definition of fresh.